Hi guys, PJ here again, taking a look at The Evil Within 2 on PC. The aim of this video is just to take you through all the options and settings available in the game and just to do a quick rundown of, of well, quite literally, how the game runs on low all the way through to high. So we're just going to take some measurements in game. As you can see, we've got the MSI display running. I'm um, hoping to see what the minimum VRAM requirement is and also how taxing it is on a multi-core CPU. Recommended game specs for this game um, are quite a strange one. It's recommending pretty much 6 and 8 gigabyte cards, GTX 1060, 6 gigabyte, and uh, I think it's an RX 580, 8 gigabyte version. So it is pretty memory intensive on your VRAM. Processor, um, we're looking at Ryzen 1600, I believe it is. Yeah, Ryzen 1600 CPU or a Core i7. However, talking to a few people that have got this game already, it seems to run perfectly fine on uh, i5 2500s, and it also seems to run decent enough on a system like my own, which is an old FX 8350 at 4.2. CPU usage seems very, very low. It is built with the consoles in mind. Now, when you boot the game up, uh, you get this little list here. We've got options. I will just quickly say, if you're thinking about buying this on PC or you're buying this on console, there is no PS4 Pro support for this game. It runs at 1080p. There is no Pro support at all, and it's also been removed from the list of Xbox One X enhanced games. So I don't know if this game is behind in development and they're going to do it in the future, but right now it's basic console level. You get 1080p display on a PS4 Pro. So if you're going to run the definitive edition of this game, PC is where you're at. Simple as that. Now I won't be doing a review of this game. Um, I'm busy doing a review for Shadow of Mordor. And uh, I just thought we'd literally take a look at this, like I was saying. It's not my scene. I played the first one. I played quite a few horror games, and this particular scene, it's not me. So I won't be playing it to any degree. Right, so on the options, we have general, um, text, language, different different language packs here. I'll just go through them. French, Italian, German. What else have we got? There's quite an array there, actually, isn't there? So... Uh, HUD settings, you can toggle everything to show and hide there, quite a few of those, I'll just scroll through, obviously pause the video if you want to take a closer look at these, I'm just going to mouse wheel down there, go through them all, controls, yes, Xbox One controller works fine straight off the bat and it switches over as you can see there without doing anything, so it's automatic, DS4 controller, Although supposedly works on everything Steam, it doesn't work for me. Again, it seems very patchy whether DS4 works natively or not. At the moment, my game didn't didn't support it at all. Whether or not they're going to be update patches, I don't know. We shall see. So there's your controls, and you've got your keyboard bindings, of course. I will say this: the mouse feels like it's like it's in syrup on this menu. It's very floaty. Uh, I don't know. It took a bit of getting used to when I first loaded the game. If it affects gameplay like that, then it's not going to be a good thing. You're going to have to faff about with it all. Okay, so there we go. I will just slow that down. There you go. And obviously you've got um, different controller configurations as well. So if we go... All the way back up. Okay, button type assignment. We've got A. Oops, come here. Sensitive. B. And of course, keyboard. Graphics. I'll do this on mouse. <laughs> Even though the mouse is, feels like it's in sludge, it, it's better than controller. Um, the game booted straight into ultra wide, so that's a good sign. There's none of those disgusting black bars, the cinematic feel or whatever you want to call it. Personally, I call it crap, but there you go, on the first game. If you play the first game, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, full screen is full screen. Uh, you've also got borderless and windowed, of course. Yes, it does detect primary displays. I plugged it into my 4K TV, picked it up straight away, no problem. And yes, it does scale all the way up to 4K. However... 
how can I put it? It's got nice graphics, the game has, but it's not that nice that you're going to write, oh yeah, I must push 4K. That's a personal opinion. You know, if you want to go for 4K or you've got something like a 1080 Ti, go for it. Personally, though, I don't think the graphics are quite there for that. So, obviously, resolution. 640 by 480 on 4 by 3 is your lowest setting, okay? Obviously, you've got 720p. 800, and you got some weird ones because I'm on ultra wide, of course. Says you 16 by 9s and stuff. Uh, 720p there, 16 by 9. 5p3, we've got some really weird options. There's your 900p. I like Xbox One if you like. And what else have we got? 16p10. Yeah, we've got some odd ratios going on here. 1080p there, obviously. Can I get that to my ratio? No, it's gone. It has gone. 3B2? Good grief. Okay, very odd. I must have gone all the way around and missed my own ratio. There we go. Right, so uh, VSync. Obviously, I'm on a FreeSync monitor, so it's disabled. You do have options, though. You've got display based. Uh, display based half which is a, an interesting concept 60 frames per second and 30 frames per second now i was talking to a colleague of mine who's running this on a gtx 1066 gigabyte and he's getting stuttering so he's had to go into the uh, nvidia control panel and tweak things from there regarding vsync so stuttering is linked to frame pacing rather than low frame rate okay frame pacing being a slightly different thing so the game is a little bit messy i mean it, it could do with a patch to be honest with you so anyway we'll go we'll go with uh, display based okay i'm running my monitor at 75 hertz just uh, bear that in mind when we when we actually put the game on we've got gamma adjustment up and down field of view and it goes all the way up to 90 and as low as 45 we'll put it on 70 just for just for testing purposes. Film grain. Ugh. You guys may love that. I hate it. Off. Chromatic abbreviation. Ugh. You, you know what that is. Yeah, it's like the, the bluey yellow tinge around the edge of everything. I don't like that either. So that can go off. Might try it in game, but normally I set that to off. Performance metrics. That's an interesting one isn't it don't really need it on i can say we have got the msi uh, setup running here uh, what else have we got advanced settings these settings can have a serious impact on performance warning yes let's do that oh we know warning 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 let's get on with it okay right so Overall quality medium. Please select an overall quality preset. All settings in advanced settings will be reset according to the preset. Well, I'm figuring Ultra is for your 6 and 8 gigabyte cards. Now, I only have 4 gigabytes of VRAM, so can we get away with high? Hmm, well, we can on the menu. <laughs> Level of detail disabled. This is, there's not a very good auto detect here, is there? Enabled. Well, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Enable, disable. Bloom. Enable, disable. Object motion blur. This is feeling pretty bare bones. Camera motion blur. Enable, disable. Motion blur quality. Okay, is high the highest? Yes. Hmm. Doff quality. Oh, there is an ultra on doff. Okay, we're going to set this as high as we can go to push the VRAM, yeah? Um, SSAO quality. There is an ultra. Obviously, it goes to disabled and then low. Uh, what else have we got? SSR quality. Screen space reflections. I think we only had a high. Yeah, just, just high there. Uh, where are we? Screen space reflections. 
volumetic light quality. This can have a pretty serious impact on your GPU. So if you're struggling, um, you guys with the GTX 970, keep it below three and a half gigabytes VRAM usage if you can. Otherwise, the game will come to a crawling. You know, it won't, it won't be any good. Just keep it below that. It will use the extra 500 gigabytes of slow VRAM and uh, no good. So options like this one in particular, keep your eye on. Same with shadows that can seriously help improve performance. Uh, disabled we can actually turn it off okay no ultra just high shadow quality we do have an ultra I'm betting I won't be able to run that myself so we've got low medium high and ultra we will try and see what it's going to be at anti-aliasing TAA and FXAA hmm. okay disabled FXAA TAA and both. See how we go with that one. That's all of those. So, accept. Let's move on to audio. So, we've got as expected master volumes, volume, volume, volume. What we got here? Dynamic range. Okay, do we cater for surround sound? Let's have a look. Narrow, wide. Perhaps not. However, being a horror game, I'd be tempted to play this with a headset on and the lights off. you got to do it, really. It's a horror game. Okay, so let's load into game. I've got this installed on a 7200 speed normal hard drive. Uh, my SSDs are currently full, so uh, I can't really comment too much there on, on loading performance. I will say this, um, it loaded really quickly. The, the actual main game itself loaded very quickly. So let's, let's see how this goes or doesn't go. Personally, I think I'm going to have to drop things down. We didn't get very far. Um, just moving from here to the new game menu, I will show you. Even the mouse is crawling. This game has serious issues. If you have a look at the top there, my GPU is nowhere near maxed and the CPU is on like idle. So there is problems here. Like I say, I do, uh, you know, I do talk to other people in the field, and uh, I'm not the only one that seems to be struggling. But that is, that is appalling. Come on, Bethesda, we need that patch. So I'm not even going to try and load it. At that let's drop some settings down and see if we can get this game running beyond eight frames per second. Good grief. Okay, guys, we appear to have found the problem. Um, that was sort of five minutes of messing around. If, like me, you're running a FreeSync monitor, maybe a G-Sync, I don't know, you'd have to try it. Um, I recommend you do not have your V-Sync on display-based. It was locking mine to eight frames per second on this menu. This monitor's clocked at 75 hertz, like I was saying, so there is something amiss. Um, I'll disable VSync altogether and uh, see what it runs at, but that's weird. <laughs> Very weird. And it's also gone and changed all my settings again to medium. Yes, let's put it all on ultra. Right. So, now let's see if we can load a game. We'll just check it's actually, yes, it's still on ultra look. There we go. Everything is at the max. Okay, so menu 39 to 42 frames per second. New game. Obviously, if you're running a normal 16 by 9 1080p display, you're running a lot less pixels than I am. So your performance, if you've got a similar system, will be a little bit better than myself. Put it on casual and aim assist. On a mouse, mm, maybe. Okay, so we're going to load. Thirty-six frames per second and two point seven gigabytes of VRAM currently used. Nine gigabytes of normal RAM. Can we skip a cutscene? No, no skip. Oh, 
looks like we don't need to skip. We're straight into the game. No, this is not happening. So... CPU is literally not taxed in the slightest. Uh, it's not even running at half. So it's not a very CPU dependent game. You're not going to get CPU limited on this. Oh God, Lily. Um, frames per second though, running this on Ultra. We're at console standards, guys. I'm sorry to say it's 30 frames per second for me. Okay, so I won't play too much because obviously I don't want it to be a spoiler. I'm not doing a game review or anything here. We are keeping above 30, so that's that's nice. We're on 32. Did I see a 29? Yes, I saw a 29. Okay. No control here. This is all sort of not cinematic, but done for you. 27 now with all the volumetric uh, lighting and fog effects going on. We're definitely going to have to drop a couple of settings down. However, it is quite strange that they are saying 6 or 8 gigabytes of VRAM needed. Uh, we're on 3 gigabytes of VRAM currently. The graphics are quite nice. Um, I don't see why they should take that much VRAM though, in all honesty. Twenty seven FPS. Yep. Yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> changing things now. So let's go to graphics. We clearly can't run it, you know, absolutely maxed out, which is understandable. This system now, uh, you know, running R nine two ninety X four gigabyte card, it's getting on. Uh, I have my Ryzen system that I'm slowly building, but it isn't there yet. Okay, so if we go drop this down from just just one. Actually, no, let's, let's see an impact for the video here, yeah? If we go, should we go medium? Or we'll go high, we can always change it to medium, can't we? Okay, what sort of difference are we going to get? None, 27 frames per second. That's odd. 3.2 gigabytes of VRAM. On high. That doesn't sound right. Let's have a look. Yep, high. There it is. Let's go to medium. I get the funny feeling we're going to get some patches on this game. Right, medium. I wonder if we have to reload the game. It's not doing anything. I'm going to try it. I'm going to reboot the game on medium, guys. One quick reboot later. Uh, I did a quick timer there, and, and that quite literally loaded in 18 seconds. So, from desktop to fully onto this menu, 18 seconds, and that's on a normal hard drive. There's no need to install this on your SSD and fill it up. There's plenty of other games coming out this year that will fill your hard drive up. Looking at you, Shadow of Order. That is a big game. I'll be covering that one uh, hopefully later tonight. Or if not, the video will be live tomorrow. So if you want to look at that one, it should be there. Okay, so let's go straight into game. Now we've got that set up. Continue. Yes, continue. No. Okay, our VRAM is now registering correctly, so there's obviously a bit of a glitch there, maybe the textures or something. Oh yeah, we're starting all over again. Didn't reach a save point. So, that doesn't look like the FPS has actually gotten in better. That's really strange. Now FPS is pretty much the same. VRAM also looks like it's going to be pretty much the same as well. Let's get inside and check that out. 2.5 gigabytes of VRAM. 36 FPS. 
Might as well run in on Ultra. I'm like saying that I can't really see much difference in the game, to be honest. Damn it. Let's see what it does when we get inside with all the smoke effects. Lily, I'm here. Where are you? Hmm. Gone ship stairs. Thirty-three frames per second. Two point five gigabytes of VRAM on medium. How did this happen? Thirty one. It is a bit better, but not a lot. It's staying above thirty. So I'd say we've probably gained in the region of five to six FPS. Now you can knock a couple of FPS off for recording. I'm using AMD Radeon Relive. But even so that's not spelling a well optimized game to me. If they can't be bothered to do a PS4 Pro patch and it runs like this, it's not looking too good, is it, guys, really? Let's change it to low. There's not much more I can do. I mean, you shouldn't have to run it on low, let's face it. I would expect to run this game on high. So, that's very odd. It's definitely not CPU bound. It's fine. A lot of games nowadays don't need a powerful CPU because... Our design of the consoles in mind. Okay, so we're on low, which turns doesn't turn everything off. We still go lower than low. So let's go lower than low. TAA is low. This is going to look really messy. This is going to look horrendous. Let's disable as much as possible to see what we can get this FPS up to. Yuck. This isn't going to be nice. Forty-four frames per second and the game looks disgusting. Forty one FPS. Uh, it looks like the VRAM readouts all over the place. Uh, you gotta reload the game to uh see if we can get it under two gigabytes of VRAM. I will reload the game for you guys before we end this video. I'll do that right now. Okay, no, back again. Um this is as pretty much as low as you can go. I saved all the options from before. Uh without dropping from native resolution, you know, really down. Uh you're not gonna go any lower than this, so there you go, that is everything very low. This game looks like it's been designed for 30 frames per second. Um, it certainly doesn't like going above that. What we got, 38, 39 for it looking like this? Nah. I think I'd keep a mixture of ultra and high settings and just keep it locked to 30 frames per second and play the game that way. Um, it's not worth the sacrifice to try and, to try and get it to 60. It literally must be made with 30 frames per second in mind 2.5 gigabytes of VRAM on the lowest of the low settings so anybody with a 2 gigabyte card I think you can forget it it's not going to happen and what we got 40 38 yeah 35 31 frames per second it's not happening is it guys Looks like 30 frames per second, and I would say, don't buy the game, wait for a patch. Um, I'm certainly going to wait for a patch, I'm not going to go much further into this without, uh, without getting it patched. Guys, if you've got any questions, please pop them in the comments below. Give me a like if this was any help at all to you. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.